Most users use the Chrome browser to browse the internet and use their favorite services and even if you use another browser, also check these settings as they exist in other browsers as well. Few people know that Chrome and other browsers have special hidden settings that allow websites you visit to track you and collect data about you. They do this for various purposes, including showing you ads, but not only for that. Some websites can also steal your personal data, passwords or banking information. Scammers can use this information against you later. So today I'll show you some very important settings in your browser you should change to protect yourself from malicious websites, prevent websites you visit from tracking you and speed up your browser. Welcome to my channel and let's dive in. To find the first setting on your phone, open Chrome browser. After that, in the upper right hand corner of the screen, tap on three dots and select here settings. After that, scroll down to privacy and security in section basics and open it. Then you can see in section privacy, delete browsing data. Your browser records everything you do in it, like the websites you visit and what you search for. It also accumulates temporary files from different sites. All of this can fill up your phone's memory and make your browser slow. Most importantly, if someone takes your phone, they can see everything you have ever searched or visited. So it is important to clear your browser regularly, at least once a month. This will help your browser run faster and keep your information private. To do this, open delete browsing data. After that, select here in time range, select all time and select browsing history. Next, cookies and site data. But pay attention, if you selected cookies and site data, you will sign out of most sites. And you will need uh, to log in these sites uh, by entering your username and passwords. Then select cached images and files and click delete data. After that, scroll down to next setting, third party cookies. This setting allows website to visit to track you. This means one website will know what you did on previous websites. This is designed so that websites you visit immediately have collected information about you. For example, the next website you visit will know that you just watched this video. So for privacy, I recommend blocking it. To do this, open third party cookies and select here block third-party cookies. Further tap back and below we see add privacy, open it. Then open site suggested ads and here make sure that setting site suggested ads is turned off because if this setting is turned on, websites and their advertising partners can use your activity such as how you spend your time on sites you visit to personalize ads for you. So to prevent uh, websites from collecting information about your activity for advertisers, make sure that this setting is disabled. Next, step back step back again to privacy and security settings and below we can see send a do not track request tab. This is we can ask the websites we visit not to track us. However, this is not very effective as the website is not obligated to comply with our request. It can either stop tracking us or simply ignore the request. Most often websites ignore such requests. So the previous settings we have already changed on our phone in our browser will be more effective protection against tracking. But if you want, you can turn on this feature, open send a do not track request and turn it on. Then tap back and below we see preload pages. The browser tries to guess which website you will open next and preloads it to speed up loading time if you actually open it. Sounds good, but in reality it does not always guess therefore wasting your internet traffic and leaving your digital fingerprint on a website you have not even visited. Even if you open a website preloaded by the browser, the difference in loading time will be negligible, so in my opinion it's worth disabling this feature. To do this, Tap on preload pages and select not preloading. Further tap back and scroll down to section security. Here we can see feature safe browsing. Open it and here by default you have selected standard protection. And to improve our protection we can select enhanced protection. But it's not so simple. If you choose enhanced protection 
you will get better security against viruses and malware, but the browser will send more data to Google for analysis. This is not good for our privacy, so you must choose. If privacy is important to you, choose standard protection. But if you want the best protection against malware, choose enhanced protection. But don't choose no protection, because it is not safe. The best choice for most users will be standard protection. Then tap back. After that, below we can see warns if your password was compromised in a data breach. This is very important setting and I recommend that this feature be enabling, because if your password is leaked due to a data breach or a server hack, your browser will notify you and you can change it in time. This is very important. Further, below we can see always use secure connection. Open it. This feature will display notifications when a website uses an insecure connection. Entering any information on such a site is unsafe, as it could be intercepted and stolen. If this feature is enabled, you will immediately see warnings about this and avoid entering your data, so I recommend turn on this feature. And to prevent erroneous notifications, select warns you for insecure public sites. And now I'll show you how it works. I will visit insecure website on purpose. For this open Chrome, then open such a website. And I see notification that this website is not secure. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new helpful videos. Thanks to everyone supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to support as well, you can do so via the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.